I'm in Bangkok, Thailand's most popular shopping mall called the Icon Siam that is filled with delicious food from all over the world, luxury clothes shops and cars, and really anything you could possibly want. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys if I think Bangkok is still worth traveling to in 2024 and where you can actually find the cheapest food right next to Icon Siam. So be sure to watch till the end of this video so you don't miss a thing. Hey, my name is Joshua. And if you're interested in more videos about me traveling around Asia and Thailand as a 21 year old man, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss the next video that I upload. Okay, so point number one, cost of living and travel. So contrary to popular belief, Bangkok, Thailand is not the cheapest on accommodation, especially if you're coming here for short term travel. If you're coming here for more longer term accommodation, like you're staying here for six months to a year, you can get a decent condo contract for a pretty good price but if you're staying here for short term it does take a little bit of searching around and um, even trying out some hotels and hostels before you can actually fall into a pretty decent price range so definitely going to keep that in mind so guys as a general travel tip i definitely recommend staying around the Sukhumvit area which can actually find some decently priced hotels and even condos for using their goto app for hotels and then the Airbnb app for condos. So you can actually get a pretty decent rental on that. So my social battery just ran out and I'm, there's so many people in this mall, so I just went back to this bench just to chill out and finish the rest of this video for you guys. So if you're just a traveler, you're only staying in Thailand for maybe two weeks or a month, I definitely recommend staying at some hostels and just going around a little bit because you can stay in hostels for like $10 per day, 10 Australian per day, which is 200 baht, which is just incredibly cheap compared to anywhere else in the world. So I definitely recommend that if you're staying here in the short term. And as I said before, long term, definitely recommend a condo or renting a house with a friend or something because it makes it a lot more cheaper long term. For me, I love condos that include a swimming pool and a gym. So you can definitely find those. And I used to um, stay at one for only 30 Australian per night, which is incredible deal out here in Bangkok. So point two, food prices. So everyone raves on about how cheap Thailand food prices are and is it cheap? Is it worth it? And the answer is absolutely yes with a little caveat that you love Thai food because that is the cheapest food out here in Thailand and if you're going for like more Western food or even Japanese food it's absolutely delicious out here in Thailand. Don't get me wrong Japanese food is amazing here but you guys are going to be definitely paying a premium almost like two times or three times the cost of regular Thai food. So if you guys are more on the budget end, I recommend staying at like a food court, like um, in Icon CM, there's like the ground floor and stuff like that. In almost every mall in Thailand, there's a, a food court where you can buy this like food card and you can spend this food card at these like little family run stores. And the prices are incredibly good, incredibly cheap. As you can see here, I love going to them. I used to go to them every single day actually, because the prices were just good. I used to get a Pad Thai, and then like a mango sticky rice and it's just absolutely amazing for the price. And today I went to a, a shopping mall across Icon Siam because the ground floor of Icon Siam is actually quite expensive, the food there. Icon Siam is mainly like a tourist place so that's why it's more on the expensive side. But yeah, I got this chicken, I got a bunch of chicken um, in this mall across from Icon Siam for only 85 baht, which is an absolute steal. Point number three, things to do out here in Bangkok Guys, if you want one reason to actually come out to Thailand, it is the fact that Bangkok, there's just events happening absolutely everywhere. I mentioned this in my last video, but in MPK Mall, there's events happening here, left and right, there's like Thai celebrities, literally in broad daylight and everyone's surrounding them and stuff is going on, everything is happening. So if you're staying in the main city of Bangkok, which is what I suggest, staying around the Sukhumvit area or the Ramanine, stuff like that, then you guys are gonna be you will never get bored here because there's always stuff to do constantly. So it's definitely worth staying out here in Thailand if that's your thing. If you're looking for events happening in malls and seeing Thai celebrities literally just out and open, guys, I'm not kidding. Bangkok is the place. Now to add a little bit of a comparison, I used to stay in Chiang Mai where it's more of like a more humble and quieter vibe. Only two big shopping malls and that's it. So a lot more quieter. It's more of like a student and younger people kind of area. So you definitely feel that out in Chiang Mai and you, you're riding motorcycles with your friends and everything but there's, near, there's nowhere near 
the same amount of activities to do in Chiang Mai than there is in Bangkok. Love Chiang Mai, but if you're looking for constant, just things going on, Bangkok is worth it for you. So point number four, which is transportation. And before I get onto this point, guys, I just want to mention that my Thailand Solo Travel Mastery course is out now. So be sure to check the link in the description if you guys are interested in getting my one-on-one -on -one help. Just click the link in the description right now and yeah, it will change your life. Transportation, Bangkok, you have buses, you got trains, you got tuk-tuks, you got motorcycle, you got bolt, you got grab, you got everything you need here. And I definitely recommend taking the BTS SkyTrain where you can take it everywhere you need around the main city of Bangkok. Transportation compared to other countries, um, I'd say Bangkok does it pretty relatively well, but the only downside of Bangkok transportation is the traffic, guys. If you want the cheapest form of transport out here in Bangkok, it is taking the bolt via riding behind a motorcycle guy. Some motorcycle guy is gonna speed through traffic and cut through cars and lanes and stuff. And it's really cheap, but the traffic out here in Bangkok is insane. Everyone's just rushing and, you know, you almost get killed on a motorcycle, but you know, it's half the price of taking a taxi. So you gotta do what you gotta do, man. All right, guys, to finish off the video and to answer the question, is Thailand truly worth it in 2024? Guys, I absolutely believe this is the best year possible to come out here to Thailand. The hype is real. Everyone is packing their bags, traveling out to Thailand, doing content creation and everything like that. There's tons of events happening in Bangkok. And I think Bangkok is at its prime right now. I'm not sure what's gonna happen next year in 2025 or 2026, if the same type of energy even still exists here. So guys, for me, I definitely recommend at least trying Thailand, at least come here for like two weeks. See if you like it or not. And if it's not your thing, you can always just head back home and you know stay in your home country. But guys, if there's a time to come out here to Thailand, it is right now. If you guys want to go to Koh Samui, Bangkok, Chiang Mai, I definitely recommend at least trying Chiang Mai and Bangkok because I tried them both and I absolutely love them because they're two different sides of the same coin, guys. They're just two amazing places. I definitely recommend coming out here. So to summarize, it is worth it to come out here to Thailand. Kobun Kat for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want more videos from me, as always, be sure to like and subscribe. Check, check out my course in the link in the description. And yeah, as always, stay strong.